This is a sacred place, George Floyd. So many beautiful upgrades to the city. We're here in Minneapolis and we're gonna find people on the streets who can answer great questions about famous and important black historical figures. It's gonna be awesome. And the winner gets $2 cash money if they answer correctly. Just name a famous basketball player. Michael Jordan. You got it. You're on your way to cash prizes. Famous female black singer. Uh, Rihanna. Rihanna. Name a really rich person. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Name a famous football player. Stephon Diggs. Black CEO of a big company in America. Big company, I don't know. Ursula Burns, female Xerox. And Don Thompson ran McDonald's. Really? So they've been at the top. Black Supreme Court judge. I don't know my history. I don't know. Supreme Court justice worked his way to the top. Uh, Thurgood Marshall. Damn! Has there ever been a black astronaut? Mm -hmm. I feel like you'd say yes. You got a yes? <laughs> I'm trying to say yes, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there's been one, two, three, four, five, six. There's been over 12. Really? Have there ever been any female black astronauts? Yes or no? Engineers. Good. The and mathematicians. But what about full-blown astronauts? That's the question. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And do you think there should be one? Well, yeah. Have there been a black female astronaut, though? That may be. I don't know. Who became an astronaut who's African-American? Mae Jemison. Got it! Can you name three inventions of black people? Three inventions brought to us by black people. Changed our lives for the better. It was, uh... You know what? Invention. Uh... Dang. Invented. What's invented means? It means made something, like, uh, came up with something good. Oh, okay. I uh, become breast name. Mm. We are the fell GPS. in the black community right GPS? Now. Just keep going. There's so many. Oh. I got a good one for you. Potato chips. Uh, Jack Daniels? Jack Daniels? It, it, it started with a black guy. Black. Yeah. Golf tees, ice cream scooper, dust pan, clothes dryer, folding chair, super soaker. You know that squirt gun? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Refrigerated trucks, blood bank, gas mask, potato chips, and a hundred more. And you didn't name one. But there's a lot to be proud of. Awesome. There's a yeah. lot to be proud of. Name a black billionaire. There Any. <laughs> there's a couple. Black billionaires. Kanye West. Yes. Aliko Dangote. Where is he from? He's from Nigeria. Yeah, most people didn't get any of these right. How about <laughs> name a black billionaire? A black billionaire? Male. Male. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. You got another one? Since you're already on a roll. Uh, Kanye West. Kanye West. Another one? Dang, uh, nah. Kanye West's big Jay -Z. brother was Big's brother. Uh, Jay Z. All right. On his way to some cash. Black female billionaire. Uh, Oprah? Yeah. Oprah Winfrey. There you go. Ding, ding. You guys are going to win some money. <laughs> Oprah. 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 Hey, uh, there's Beyonce. She's not there yet. No, she's close. She's getting there. I bet she'll be there. Probably. I mean, she's, she's just powerhouse. I don't know. The Amazon guy's wife. The Amazon uh, guy's wife. She's white. Uh, you said but black. she's rich oh, enough. Oh, okay. She's rich enough. She could be any color she wants. <laughs> I like the way you think. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. First black person ever to run for president. Ever to run? Hmm. I should know this. Charlie Chisholm? What year? I don't know. In the 90s? It happened in the 1800s. Oh, oh okay. Frederick Douglass. He ran for president? He was first. And he didn't win. But who did win? <laughs> Barack Obama. Obama. How about this? It was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two senators who built built their reputation on segregation. It hurt me. Who said that? It's a female, and she's in office right now. Uh oh. Is she? I don't know that one. Who was talking so nicely about those racist segregation senators? I don't like any group of hate. Fresh scrutiny comes from his earliest years in the Senate, when he strongly opposed mandatory school busing. And it's personal, and it, I was actually very, it was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. There was a little girl in California who was part of the second class 
to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. Do you agree today that you were wrong to oppose busing in America then? No. Built their career on segregation in this country. Famous person said that. Can you say it again? It was said to Biden. By who? Famous person. A You're woman. like, I know this. Do you know who it is? He knows. He knows. He's, he's judging me right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> to coddle the reputations of segregationists, of people who, if they had their way, I would literally not be standing here as a member of the United States Senate, is, I think, um, it's just, it's misinformed and it's wrong. Who said we should be judged by the content of our character, not the color of our skin? Uh, I heard that before. Of our character, not the color of our skin. Uh... I can't think of a, um, help. You're cheating though, you're not allowed to phone a friend. Our skin. Martin Luther King. Ding. Where'd you go to school? Troy. Troy in Alabama. Where's, in Alabama? Yeah. yeah. Well, they did a good job. You're getting, you're getting more right than him. <laughs> Where did we you go to, to the school? Same school? You did, the same school she was studying, you were checking her out. Martin Luther King Jr. Ding, ding, ding. You played well, you get two. You're giving me money. Plus the bonus. The bonus. Who said this? If a boy doesn't have a father at home, he will find one in the streets. I don't know that one. Famous actor. But let me do my impression. If a boy does not find a father in the home, he will find one in the streets. That just sounded the same to me. That was uh, Denzel Washington. <laughs> was that Denzel? If a boy if does not find not a father in the home, he will find one in the streets. I'll tell you guys, Denzel. I was thinking, Denzel doesn't sound like that. He though. doesn't? He doesn't How does he like do it? I was trying he, to do the best yeah, that I could. Yeah, that's I was like. Every time that I do Denzel, nobody understands that's, who I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, that's not Denzel. They think so. I'm doing some guy from India. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Denzel Washington. Yeah! All right. All right. She is the winner of the most money. <laughs> you got second place. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Right. All right. We got a winner. Uh, thank you. Who said this famous yeah. quote? I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Hey. The kids hey. don't know this. We won't stop. Yes, we won't stop. Hey. 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 You know who that is? You're doing the dance. You got the whole TikTok. <laughs> Name someone who's been killed by the police. George Floyd. Yep. Any black guy who died. Okay, uh, George Floyd. Name somebody who's been killed by the police. George Floyd. Yeah, you got it. Philando Castile. Philando Castile. But another black person killed by a police officer. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin. Uh, Name a rapper whose life was saved by a police officer. Oh. A rapper? A rapper. A rapper. At the age of 12 years old, I shot myself. I was in the house. Police knocked on the door. I was right there. They knocked the door down. Everybody jumped over my body to go get the guns and drugs and whatever they could find. It took one guy to stop right there and, and cuss everybody that hopped over me out. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? They say, oh, no, 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 we was going to see if it, what the fuck are y'all doing? We called the ambulance. A fucking ambulance. Do you not see this kid on the floor with this hole in his chest? I say, you, you drive. Pick me up brought me to the hospital. He didn't drop me off at the ambulance and say, you take him. He brought me to the hospital room and made two and stood there and waited until the doctor said he's going he's gonna to make it. He said, don't worry, my name's Uncle Bob. He was white as snow. The motherfuckers that hopped over me was blacker than me. Was he a cop? Yeah, he was a cop. And my life was saved by a white man. I don't know what racism is. I know a good motherfucker named Uncle Bob, though. Name someone who the police have saved their life. You gotta say, uh... Tory Wilkins, me. You? Me. Saved your life? Yes. How did that happen? I was in a car accident, I flipped over five times in one of my trucks, and the police pulled me out of my truck while That's it was on fire. That's deep. Police pulled him out of the truck when it was on fire. I was paralyzed. I had to learn how to walk again. And you're walking? Through the grace of God. Through the grace of God, the police, and your own hard work. Yes, and, and the, the doctor, the surgeon, looked at me in the eye. He said, don't be surprised if you never walk again. And you're walking. Bless you. Ble look at him. He's walking. And so the, dancing. And he's dancing. <laughs> you look like Snoop Dogg's cousin. Because he danced like that. <laughs> hey, hey, Yell it out. Cousin knows. Hey, Who said that? Hey, he also said, take that, take that, take that. Take that.
Diddy, 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 Diddy. All right, you cheated, but you get $2. Thank you. And you did better, so you get $3. <laughs> Cash prizes. Now go buy some nice ice cream or something, and if you use a scoop, you know who invented it. You got the $1 for the first few questions right, the second dollar for the third, and you brought in your cousin. Cousin? No, this is my son. Son? You guys look the same age. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, he gets the lucky $2 bill for being honest on the game show. Boom. Thank you. Thank you guys for playing. Over the last eight years, in your mind, have race relations improved under his leadership? I, you know, race relationships have to do with race relationships. You're white or whatever you are. I'm black or whatever I am. We're standing here talking now. That's how we get things done. You can't legislate love. The president of the United States can't legislate us into liking each other. We have to step forward and ask questions about each other and engage. There's no law that says, oh, because I'm president, you all got to get along now. So it's up to us.